Hi, I'm Tom Coffin. I've been the CEO of Coffin Data Warehousing for 25 years. I started as a programmer back in 1980 and programmed for NCR for an entire decade. NCR bought Teradata and I began teaching Teradata classes around the world. I wrote over 50 books on all aspects of Teradata data warehousing and people began calling me Terra Tom. I became the number one book author in the world once I wrote 75 books on every major system on the market. If someone has more experience than me with computers, I would love to meet them. My dream for the past 20 years has been to take my programming, teaching, and system expertise and create the number one software for big data. I believe in first building the best data tool for the desktop that unites the business user community with the IT staff, as well as the DBA and ETL teams and of course, the management team as well. I designed the Nexus to work equally as well for everyone. And the first task was to be able to query every system on the market. Once that was accomplished, my design was to automate the movement and migration between every system with the press of a button. And once that was achieved, we set our sights on the ability to join data from different systems which experts refer to as federated queries. Let me show you why we have built the perfect solution for federated queries. You want to do a federated query. You want to join data from two different tables that belong to two different systems. Up here, I have a wide variety of systems. I have systems in the United States, Green Plum, Yellow Brick, and Teradata. Those are on-premises systems. I have my cloud systems, Redshift, Azure and Snowflake and in Europe we have an office and I have SQL Server and Netiza and Oracle. I might want to join two small tables together and I'm in Europe and I want to join from Netiza to my cloud Snowflake system and since the data is relatively small it makes a lot of sense that I can actually have a Nexus bring the data, the rows back from each one of those systems to the PC and Nexus will join it right inside the PC and that is extremely appropriate. You need to have that capability right there so you have to have a very intelligent application like Nexus that can in, in a sense turn your PC into its own data warehouse. But now take a look at the next situation. We're in the United States. We want to join Teradata and Redshift, but we have a huge table on Teradata, millions and millions of rows. And we have a small table on Redshift. Does it make sense to bring both of these tables back to your PC? So you need to move the Redshift table to Teradata. And if you do that with Nexus and say, I want the hub to be Teradata, it will process this on Teradata and move the foreign table, the Redshift table, over to Teradata. But there is another issue here. Watch. The data moves from Redshift. You think it's going straight to Teradata, but it doesn't. It goes through your PC because you initiated the join, and then it goes to Teradata where it processes the data, and then you get the answer set back took a long time because it had to reroute through your PC, but that was more appropriate than moving the millions and millions of rows. Now, we're going to take that further. To solve this problem, we actually created a Nexus server. We called it the Nexus Core Server. You can just refer to it as the Nexus Server. So. These sit out there, they can do everything a Nexus can, so they have extreme intelligence, and they can also mask your credentials and run things for you as if you were sitting on top of that server. You put one in the United States, you can put one on the cloud, you put one in Europe, you load the Nexus software there, the server software, and now you've got the same opportunities as I just showed you, you can join things through your own PC. You can still make the hub any system out there and process the join here, but you can also run things on the server or through the server. So this is why this is such a clever, and this cl clever architectural design, and this is the future 
of what everybody else will attempt to do. Now I want to join two systems. I'm over in Europe. I say, let's get this done. It passes the user credentials from the Redshift system, which is how you log on. It knows you, you've been paired, you've been vetted and validated. So this gives you that opportunity. It takes the same thing from your credentials for Snowflake as if you were on your own PC. This is how you originally did your ODBC settings. And now it passes those to the server. The server like Lightning brings the data back to the server and you've got your rapport. That's the way it's done. You could still even do other things such as I want to move data that's small from Snowflake and process it on Redshift, but I want to do it through the server. Nothing goes through your PC or local area network. Boom, 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 boom. It processes it and now you get the report. That is the perfect environment. You can have as many people as possible out there all wanting to do cross-system joins using different hubs or the PC and everybody gets their report. It's ingenious if I say so myself. This is the way you want to process federated queries. You process small queries differently than larger queries than huge queries. We have the ability to automate and automatically join any system to any system. I could do a nine table join from all nine systems and this technology would work brilliantly. The Nexus server and the Nexus Pro desktop work together so you can pass, go get, and return information.